Good morning from London Fenchurch Street Station. Today, I'm taking off to South End by Sea. To get there, we'll be travelling with C2C. Now you might think that C2C stands for City to Coast, or even Capital to Coast, but in fact, it doesn't actually mean anything at all. The service from London to Southend takes just over an hour, and as it's such a short journey, there are no amenities like Wi-Fi and power outlets. But apart from being a little bumpy when the train reaches max speed, it's quite a pleasant ride. You don't have to travel far before you're out of the city and into the countryside. <laughs> Due to COVID-19, the quiet car was extremely quiet, with me being the only person in the car. Sit on the right side of the train for the best views. This is where the Thames River ends and meets the North Sea. Once off the train, it's time to head out of the station and down to the seaside. The first thing you'll notice is Adventure Island. This theme park is central to the South End experience for family and adults who are young at heart. There are 32 rides in all. Among them are five roller coasters, like Rage, which has three inversions, a 97 degree drop, and hits speeds of 43 miles per hour. South End Pier is the town's historical icon, as well as being the longest pleasure pier in the world. If you're a fan of railways, and you know why I am, then a trip to the South End Pier Railway is a must. It's a narrow gauge railway that runs for 1.25 miles of the 1.34 mile long pier.
Once off the train, you will find cafes and huts selling sweet treats. The very end of the pier is also home to the South End Lifeboat Station, a gift shop. Learn more about their life-saving work at the ever-popular Lifeboat Shop. Once time to head back, you can either walk the length of the pier, or if you're not feeling up to it, catch the return train. Pretty soon, it was time to head back the same way I came. You'll be surprised just how much there is to see and do in South End. Even in the little time I had, there was plenty of traditional seaside fun to be had. Within an hour's direct train journey from London, this makes it one of the most easily accessible seasides from the city. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching!